It is the unofficial start of summer, and that means a lot of people will be firing up those grills, spending time outside, and we have some great recipes and great ideas for those summer barbecues for you. Joining us now is Executive Chef of the Santa Barbara Hilton, Kirk DeLong. Welcome. Hey, thank you so thank much you. for nice, being here, nice, Chef. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I know Santa Barbara is a favorite for a lot of people in yeah. L.A. They love yeah. to get up there, get a taste of that Santa Barbara cuisine. So you've brought us some recipes yes, that are inspired by Santa Barbara cuisine, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, at Santa Barbara, we're very, very uh, lucky and privileged to have, um, you know, Santa Barbara is very close to the ocean. We got tr a lot of seafood, mm -hmm. tremendous amount of cattle to choose from, fresh uh, agriculture. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things going on there, and I'm very excited to be cooking in that region. Okay, what are we making first today, Chef? Well, today, you know what? Uh, Santa Barbara is kind of tri tip country. Mm -hmm. uh, I personally love tri-tip because I know how to cook it. Uh -huh. A lot of people will just go ahead and overcook it and, and uh, that's not um, how you do it. You want to go ahead and marinate it really good and just go ahead and get those coals nice and uh, uh, low and mm -hmm. cook it for a long period of long time, time and okay. retain all the, the tenderness and juiciness of that particular piece of meat. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do tri-tip Okay. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to accompany that with a chimichurri sauce. Ooh. Okay. Uh, chimichurri sauce was uh, brought from um, the uh, area of Argentina uh -huh. up to uh, the Santa Barbara area yeah. in about the 1800s. Okay. So um, okay. that's one of the uh, uh, items we'll be cooking with Let's today. Let's get to it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make the, um, yeah. the chimichurri sauce. Yeah, going in here. Basically, we got fresh uh, parsley. Mm hmm And then we have fresh cilantro. Okay. Great herbs. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, shallot, garlic, and serrano peppers. Ooh, for a little kick. Yep. Okay. You can use any pepper you want. That's kind of a medium pepper. It's in okay. the jalapeno family. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit more heat in there and a little pinch of um, chili, chili flakes, a okay. little salt, a little bit of lime juice, mm -hmm. and just to give a little tartness of flavor, a little red wine vinegar. You can oh. use apple cider, rice vinegar, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and blend this up. Okay. And add olive oil as you go until you get the consistency that you're looking for. Okay. Little olive oil started off with. A little olive oil. Wow. That is basically okay. it, and, and it'll it comes out looking like this. Turn out just like that. Okay, and we put it on top of our of our tri tip. Yeah, let's go ahead and build that plate right okay. now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take some beautiful black bean, mm -hmm. and we went ahead and pureed this down. Let's put wow. some spices in there. Okay, black beans are incredible mm -hmm. uh, in the region. Uh, mm -hmm. Refried beans the same way mm -hmm. in Santa Barbara. Polenta. Grilled polenta, because corn is very popular in the cuisine yeah. in Santa Barbara. Tri tip, mm -hmm. cook perfectly medium rare. Ooh. Oops, stay on there. Making a little stack. Yes, we are. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and finish it with a little bit of chimichurri. The chimichurri that you made. Right on top. Mm hmm. Drizzle it around. Yeah. And then we've got Look some at that color, too. Beautiful grilled yeah, corn that green. <gasps> off the cob. Because wow. it is summertime. Uh huh. And there you have it. Wow. That looks delicious. Yes, Beautiful. It does. All right. Okay, let's move on to the guacamole. That's okay, our great. second dish that we're making, right? Yes, it is. 90% of the avocados grown in the world are from our area in wow. Central California. I don't know a lot of people know that. Yeah. Um, Roma tomatoes are okay. um, what I'm going to use. You can use plum tomatoes, Chop beef nice steak. and fine or diced. Yeah, yeah okay. nice and small. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go ahead and go a little cilantro. Okay. And then a little red onion. Okay. I love red onion. You can use any type of uh, mm -hmm. onion. Salt. Uh, salt, yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Why don't you pour that lime juice in there? Okay, lime juice. And then we're going to add a little bit of garlic and oh. peppers. Okay. And then I'm going to have you stir that up. Okay, what do I stir it with, Chef? You're going to go a ahead. Fork or a and, spoon? You know what? Let's go ahead and use this right here. Oh, a nice big spoon? Nice big spoon. Okay. There you are. So just, and I'll start the plate over here. Okay, wonderful. And by the time you're done, we're going to put that on top of our beautiful swordfish. Oh, wow. So it should be nice and chunky, right? Absolutely. Okay. I, I like, like a chunky a pico style. De gallo. I like it that way. Yeah, you can me do it too. any way you want. I but love it like I this. love texture. I love mm -hmm. biting into something and having something to really chew on. Yeah. Okay, so we went ahead and made some nice risotto and put saffron in there. Okay. And believe it or not, saffron was one of the first. Um, Slices to come to the region in Santa Barbara back okay. in the 1800s. Wow. And we're going to put that right in the middle here. Oh my gosh, look at my guacamole. Okay. 
And then we have some beautiful swordfish that we caught, uh, the fishermen caught locally, right in the Channel swordfish, Islands. Swordfish, okay. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. And then this goes on top? Yes, it Not does. Yet. Okay. Not yet. We're going to go ahead and garnish it with a little bit of, of warm vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to put and that right on top. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Don't be, don't I be. Don't want to right on. tower. Perfect. Okay. A little bit of chip because it oh is guacamole, gosh. right? Wow, that is beautiful. And then how about some nice edible flowers just for garnish? Color? Yes, because wow. it is summertime. Beautiful. And, and what it. pairs more? Uh, what pairs better than a nice bottle of Santa Barbara wine? Absolutely. Can I pour <laughs> you a glass? Yeah. This is uh, from Fest Parker. It um, is a winery up in San Ynez Valley, sure. and they are uh, partners in. Um, uh, with Hilton and owning our, our hotel. Uh -huh. And they also have an excellent vineyard excellent up there. Vineyard. Yes. Wow. This is wonderful. Chef, thank you so much. This looks absolutely lovely. How come my guacamole doesn't look like this when I make it at home? <laughs> huh? <laughs> there you go. Well, cheers. Thank you so much. This is absolutely beautiful. For more information on the Santa Barbara Hilton, uh, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and make sure to click on Scene on TV.